Welcome back everyone to another episode of Roads to Infinite Warfare, playing the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign on the channel. We're playing Death from Above, and we are on... Marked by a strobe, okay, I'm glad we didn't do that. So right now we're playing the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign, like I said, on Death from Above, playing on... The uh, veteran difficulty, trying Search for all the trophies and trying for all of the, the all of the that, mission intel. Probably missed a few already, but for now, we found all the ones that I know of and all the ones that I have seen. One of the vehicles is moving right now. Personnel coming out of the church. We have armed personnel approaching from the church. Request permission to engage. Copy. You are cleared to engage the moving vehicle and any personnel around you see. Affirmative. Crew, you are cleared to engage, but do not fire on the church. Yeah, cleared to engage. Get back on those guys. Yeah, take them out. Cleared to engage enemy personnel. You got them. Nail those guys. Copy. Smoke them. Good, ready! There's a guy by that car. Cleared to engage all of those. That's a hit. Guy running. Yeah, good kill. I see lots of little pieces down there. Direct hit. Right there. Tracking. Personnel right there. Kaboom. Shot! Target reset. Gun ready! Uh, we got a runner here. Okay, he's moving again. Yeah, good kill. I see lots of little pieces down there. Guy running. You got him. Clear to engage enemy personnel. Yep, that was right on target. Clean up that signal. Recalibrate out in the sweep angle and adjust elevation scan. That's a hit. Gun ready! These guys are just getting eliminated Roger, by his gun. Moving. There's just nothing left of them. Uh, we're, we're not going to fire on them because All those are our friendlies. Our this strobe. is Six, be advised we're passing a large church and continuing towards the main highway. Keep up the fire. Bravo 6 out. Roger that. Engage anything without a flashing strobe light. Those are all hostiles. Hot damn. Whoa. Be careful. You almost killed our guys there. Good kill. Good kill. Crew, get the moving vehicle. Personnel right there. Nail those guys. I keep saying people to and engage all of things those. like that, but I'm Light not seeing up. any. Light up. Yeah, oh, there we go. Copying, smoking. Direct hit. Tracking. Enemy personnel on the road. Yeah, take him out. Okay, you got him. Get back on the other guys. Guy running. Clear to engage enemy personnel. Get back on those guys. Nail those guys by the building. More enemy personnel. Almost destroyed that vehicle. I'm really, I'm not even sure where it is. There it is. Okay. We don't want us to engage vehicles. Units are requiring alternate transport at this time. Do not okay. engage any vehicles on the highway unless cleared to do so. <laughs> but that guy's pissed. That's a nice truck. Nah, <laughs> he's scared shitless. Alpha, we're marking the vehicles. Confirm you see the beacons. Roger, we see the beacons. Crew, do not fire on the vehicles marked with the flashing beacons. I repeat, do not fire on the vehicles with the flashing beacons. Those are That's friendlies. fine. Heads up. Okay. Hostile forces are setting up ambush points along the curved road. Uh, navigation, which one's the curved road? Over. Fire control, do you see the water tower over? TV, confirm you see the water tower. You talking about the, uh, the water tower near the intersection? Uh, Roger, that's the one. And next to that water tower is a curved road. Do you see that? Roger that. Track that road into the next village. You, uh, should be able to see another water tower in the village further down that road. Uh, we're having a bit of trouble acquiring the village. How far up the road is it? Approximately, um, hang on. It's about two clicks along the curved road going away from the highway. It's a bit of realistic that. stuff. Banking towards the village. Stand by to engage ground targets. We can seemingly accurate this game was. 
hostiles preparing to ambush along the curved road. They're partially concealed by the trees. Whoa! Someone just fired an RPG! Roger that. Crew, go ahead and take out everything in that village. Armored vehicle right there. Right there, coming out of the barn. Targets in the village are confirmed as hostile. Cleared to engage. Smoke them. Alpha, we're under attack! Excuse some help here! Crew, track those smoke trails and take them out of the source. Clear a path for our guys. Personnel on the roof of that U-shaped building. Uh, U-shaped building? Roger. Cool the square structure on the roof. It's the one with the flat roof. Rolling in. Hot damn! Whoa! You got him. Okay, you got him. Get back on the other guys. Hot damn! Yep, that was right on target. Okay, he's moving again. Destructive environment with an AC-130 would just be... I don't know, if those two things met in a game, it would be absolutely car. incredible. Now you're firing too close to the friendlies. I repeat, you're firing too close to the friendlies. Watch yep, those my bad. strobes. My bad, calm down. No one yeah, died, he's okay. Oh, it's good. Big shot! A lot of explosions. Look at all that. Gun ready! Boom, Darn another lot of explosions. Roger that, Bravo 6. Crew friendlies are leaving the vehicles and moving on foot towards the LZ. Do not fire on any personnel marked by a flashing strobe. Affirmative. Yep. Keep watching for those strobe lights. Those are friendlies. Another checkpoint Enemy reached. Personnel in the junkyard. Crew, go ahead and smoke them. Man, these guys are going to town. Nail those guys by the building. Cracking. Get that guy. Kaboom. Good kill. Good kill. Direct hit. Guy running. Whoa! Do we need to kill? It's insane to me that they show that. I mean, you shoot, explosion goes off, and the bodies just fly. They just get flung all over the place. Clean up that signal. Nail those guys by the building. I mean, it's rated M, but man, come on. Yeah, take them out. That's some pretty graphic stuff right there. Get that guy. Kaboom. Gun ready. Target reset. Personnel right there. Clear to engage enemy personnel. You got him. All right, you got the guy. I might have been within two feet of him. Get that person. Wildfire, we've reached the LZ, but we think you fire from all sides. Request fire support on all sides of the LZ. Danger close. Enemy personnel closing on the LZ from multiple sides. Danger close. Recommend you stick to the 25 millimeter in the vicinity of the LZ. Hot damn. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Be advised, friendly helicopters entering the area. Watch your fire. Copy. Okay, so there's a minorly destructive environment. Let's see if we can take down this building. No, we cannot. Nope, but we did take down some of the face of it, so that's pretty cool. Those are enemies out there. If so, we should probably circle around and take them out in case they take on the helicopter. Um, I don't know, those may have been enemies, they may not have been. We're gonna check the trophies real quick though. My class set was my go-to in uh, Modern Warfare 2. 
run the M93 Rafika as my secondary, and this is my primary. Call it three round death. Because <laughs> there's just three round burst weapons, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty good with it. I uh, do my own more. It was kind of hard not to be. Those, pretty, those two guns paired together were pretty ridiculously insane. Um, it didn't take much to kill you, just for the point. Killed. Oh, now I'm noticing the 16 in Modern Warfare. I just remembered, and I'm being reminded. That's, um. Restart the checkpoint. Jackson. The moment we spawned in. You say left flank, so we're supposed to be holding down this side anyway. Bet if we would listen to what the game tells us to do, it would be a lot easier on us. It's not as fun that way, but things take much to do. It's like working. Where is an RPG? RPG. That'll probably not come in handy, but we got it anyway. Reach a checkpoint while holding a grenade, that should be interesting that's gonna spawn in. Because I know good and well there will be a next time on veteran. That I will spawn in. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, calm down everyone, calm down. Should have been able to hear the so. 
Not that my volume's up too loud, just that explosions near the face tend to disrupt some things like hearing and sometimes vision. Oh, that door just shut. Poor thought. Oh. Ooh. Yikes. Oh. Second try after we got the intel and the checkpoint reached. Shooting through the plywood. Toss a grenade over there and over there. Go back into hiding down here. Oh, private. Excuse me, private. Excuse me. A couple of enemies down here. Die completely, like, all the way. Thank you. You too. There were hit markers for enemies. It comes to grenades, so I would know if my grenade was successful or not. And then again, there's not really hit markers at all. I guess that's part of the veteran experience. They just keep coming. I guess I'm gonna have to try to force my way up. It's not gonna end well. It's literally going to get me killed. But they literally are coming out of the same exact spots. So it's either I move up, and risk of dying, or I just stay here forever. Dear God, dear God. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Woo, we somehow survived that. I'm still not really sure how we just did that, but we made it happen, boys and girls, if, if you're watching. Oh, hello. Die, please. So it's a little annoying because I've played this exact mission so many times that I'm slowly memorizing it. Play by play, enemy by enemy, in each of their locations, which is, which sounds like I have an advantage, but when I very slightly and they do shit like that and just end me instantly, it's a little frustrating because it's kind of impossible to complete it, even if I know exactly where they're going to be. So we're just trying to do something different to accomplish something new and move on with this episode, this level, this mission, whatever you want to call it, and complete the episode, and give you guys an outro, a complete level, and move on to the next one. Alright, we we'll just reached the checkpoint again while holding a grenade, that should be interesting next time we spawn in. They are just raining grenades down on us. We're gonna go up here and see if there's any intel and or enemies. Great. Keep them pinned down from here. Bravo. <laughs> Probably one of the most annoying games you'll play on veteran difficulty. Uh, just FYI, because you will play the same thing over and over again. I don't care who you are. We're just gonna rain hellfire down on the upstairs and probably kill ourselves with a grenade. Almost. Thank God he's not paying attention. You're dead because you're not paying attention. Down from here. Bravo. Head out back and flank him from the right. They're pulling back. Stay sharp. It could be a trap. 
It might be. What's this? Just a lantern or a bong. That's a candle, not a lantern or a bong. Derp. Get out of this building. Go. Pretty sure we just got it. We just got three kills with only like one or two bullets. That was awesome. Well, he didn't die, but the other two did. Did none of them actually die? Were they all just injured from a headshot? It's okay, I just got shot in the head. In the face. I'm okay, I was only shot in the face. Freezing, mm. freezing. The old Call of Duty games got one thing right. They were so realistic. Headshots, injured enemies. Hold right here! Enemy tank, oh. coming up the road! We're gonna die up here. Orbit, Bravo 6, T-72 behind the building at your 10 o'clock. Can you engage? Over. Roger, enemy tank coming up the road. Can you That was pretty awesome. Pretty sure he shot a hole in the building to then shoot. Wow, that was pretty amazing. Sit down, son, sit down. We reach another checkpoint. Get took over there. An enemy helicopter. Lieutenant Vasquez, this is Outlaw 25. The task force is moving in to capture Al Assad. It's all hands on deck for this one, so get on board. <laughs> Silly me. Was that the end of the of that mission? All right, that was the end of that mission. So we're gonna call it on this episode of the Road to Infinite Warfare. Finally completed it. Had to play that one mission so many times, guys. It was pretty frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, it's the end of this episode of Road to Infinite Warfare playing the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign. Until next episode, stay frosty and, and stay humble. It happened again. No clue why. Goodbye.